Hi friends, in the previous video we have seen the template and also the template URL concept we have seen right. Now in this video we will see another concept something like if we go to here. So in the previous video we have seen the this concept template. So we have we can use here as an inline template and also as an uh, what I can say as a template URL external template URL also we can see. Now in this video what we will try to do is. Uh, in this video what I will try to do is so we will check about the style URLs okay what, what, what about the style URLs here you can see style URLs if you see here it is an array of external files but in the template you will be having only the uh, right now we will change this one to template URL this one we will change so here I can take template URL is equal to I can remove this all code What I will do is so it's a relative path users dot component dot html. Okay, this is the file. This is the file. Now here in the styles URL, what is the concept is running is here. It can take multiple style files. Okay, but in the template URL, you you need to mention only one one template file. But in the styles, you can mention more than one. Style, external style files if you have more than one external file, style files you can mention and now what we'll try to do is let's go to the app.component.html if we go to app.component.html here you are able to see the output here we are able to see the output right now wow i think this is a problem we are getting Okay, now we will try to change this one to h3 okay now we have changed this one to h3 let's build this one uh, let's take it takes take some time to build okay it has been compiled successfully now what i want to what i want to do is i have re, i have changed this one to h3 now let's check the output here if i check the output here yeah i am able to see that high leela here Right now, this one, what it is, it, it is we, the scale, the output has went to the right side of the corner. What I will try to do is, I will try to change this one. I will use some Bootstrap classes, okay, as a container, and I will take one row and call iPhone MD iPhone 12 or otherwise call iPhone XS iPhone 12. Now I will try to copy these all things and I will paste it here. So these are all you these are all bootstrap classes so we have already added the bootstrap uh, uh, files right so these are all bootstrap uh, classes so no need to worry about these all things so this is out of concept so that is the reason i am not explaining you this one these are all the bootstrap classes so with this uh, so now what i will try to do is i will try to refresh the code if you try to refresh the code you are able to see that it has came some some something right side it has came okay now what i will try to do is now what I will try to do is so this has become very little bit less right so let's check the output why it has came like that let's check it now this is the container okay fine this is the row and this is the call iphone excess iphone 12 okay so there will be no excess there it will be only sm will be there sorry we are having the latest bootstrap so excess will not be there you will be having sm iphone 12 or otherwise anything you can take not not a problem uh, so this is out of the concept so we will not to focus more on the bootstrap yet we got the output now what i want to do is i want to change the color of this high lila okay i want to change the color of this high lila how we can change the color of this high lila now we will go to the t app component so high lila is present in the here h3 now we can go into the app component .ts. Okay, now here you will be able to see that style URLs. What is the fractional file that is referencing this app component.css? Now, what I will try to do is so here I will go to the app component and I will write directly the h3 color as blue. So I can write directly h3 color as blue. And if I try to go and if I refresh the output here, if I refresh the output here, now you are able to see the color it has blue. So we have changed the color. This is where we can write the external file, the CSS to change the uh, HTML as the design of the HTML. And also you got you got it out. For example, 
in the app dot component at html in the css we have written for this component h3 right so we will go to users component at ecs and here i will write another h3 users component or something like this i will write so will will this change will this uh, h this is also h3 right so we have written in the app component dot css h3 is color blue so will that h3 also will will uh, convert it to blue or not we will check we do here here the user components didn't convert it to the color blue why because the whatever the styles you have written for this app component so you have written the css in the only in the app component dot css so that means the css styles will apply only to the app component html only it will not apply to all the h3 which is present in all the components okay so it will apply for this only this component if you want to change h3 for the for this one you need to change it you need to write it in the users component dot css whatever you are uh, adding in the style urls you will be changing them okay now this is the style urls apart from style urls there will be also another way of writing the styles in the syntax thing so for example here i can write styles also as a template you can also write your own styles so styles also take as an array it's a string and i will be using backtick for this one h3 i will write it as something like color red so uh, remember this i am writing in the users component dot ps that means so now here what it will try to change here the users component will convert it into the red color okay this is how we can change if you want to mention style urls you can mention the external file and if you want to mention the styles if you want to write inline here only you can also use the styles as a square bracket and you back tick and you can write your own style so in this way we can also represent the styles concept and also you remember that you need to enter either either of these one styles urls or styles string so template url or template is mandatory if you don't mention the style urls or styles styles will not apply so at the first time when we are creating a component we have we didn't created the styles thing so template url you must and should you need to have a for a component okay template or template url for styles and styles urls it's not a mandatory if you mention either of that one has to be present okay if it is that both of them are not present also it's not a problem component will work this is how we can use the and also you need to remember that the styles will apply only for this component it will not apply for all the angular project if you want to apply for all the angular project means you need to write it in the global style.css so the, you can add global styles to this file here you need to add it styles here so this is how the styles uh, styles work in the uh, component styles work in the angular okay so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you